What up, Cucks? It's your boy, The Hater. And I went on WWE.com and I saw a picture and an article that accompanies it. It's essentially this clown-looking thing. Uh, one can only assume it's the new Wyatt family thing that's been happening. Um, this is really stupid. I'm going to just read it out loud right now and go from there. It starts with hello in lowercase. Hello. I'd like to tell you a story, a story about value. We often equate value with utilization. That is not the case. Nobody said that. What? That's fucking stupid as shit. Like, I hate these things where they try to sound smart. No, value and utilization are not the same thing at all. That's why we have two words. A gold ring, right, is valuable, but it has no utility whatsoever. But this person speaking down to us is going to explain why this makes no sense, right? This is called a straw man argument where you argue something that no one argued against. But you present it as if it's this, like, axiomatic truth. So, um, the, the piece goes on to say, If a piece of currency is crumpled, ignored, and tossed to the side, does it lose its value? Of course not. It is simply in the hands of the ignorant. We often devalue ourselves as a result of the ignorance of those around us. Uh, their words define us. I have been guilty of this myself. I have let the expectations of others determine my self-worth. But once I realized my calling... The uh, words of the naysayers began to fall on deaf ears. I am nobody. I am all of us. When you free yourself from the preconceived ideas of others, from the lies, you become liberated. Right. This is not, there's nothing here that like fucking Bray Wyatt hasn't already said in a bullshit promo or two, you know. I accepted my calling. Only then was I able to set the others free. We followed the words of the red and now we see. I offer you one last chance at redemption doesn't have to be this way. The cave can, can no longer exist. We are going to burn it to the ground. A massacre is coming. 168 over 197. And then the WWE logo. So, um, this is really stupid. And I really, really fucking hate this. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Bray Wyatt's dead. Rest in peace. You know what I mean? But this, even if this is not anything related to the new Wyatt family that I've been talking about... It doesn't really matter. This is a very, a very, very Bray Wyatt, uh, you know, thing, post, if you will, right? So Bray Wyatt, all the time he would come out and he would cut what Michael Cole would call cryptic promos, right? Cryptic just means hard to understand, right? And uh, confusing, purposefully so, more often than not, right? That's really all Bray Wyatt did. All he did was basically the same, the same thing as this, right? He just said a bunch of words and people that have never really read anything, right? Like if you've ever read like, I don't know, Plato or Aristotle or fucking even contemporary sociologists and philosophers, none of this stuff is going to be impressive to you. Now, if you are retarded and you don't read and you think that the peak of intellect is the next season of Yu Yu Hakusho, or whatever the fuck that show is called, right? Then, you know, th that's just, that you're just stupid, right? Like, a lot of people, I, I, especially in these next generations, like the younger millennials, the older millennials too, but definitely the younger millennials, and Gen Z, like these are people that grew up with the internet, so they never really, like, understood the value of learning, it seems like to me, right? And I mean, I guess I grew up with the internet in many ways, but I was a little bit older. So, the idea is, that uh, a lot of people just don't have any exposure to intellectual things. So then they watch like fucking Tokyo Ghoul. And they're like, wow, this show is so intellectual. Like they watch Rick and Morty. They're like, wow, this is so deep. And it's like, fucking read a book, man. Like when you say like that kind of shit is deep. Like everyone looks at you and thinks, wow, this person is retarded. They never read anything, right? Same thing with Bray Wyatt, right? Bray Wyatt, again, rest in peace. But just because he's dead doesn't mean that we have to pretend that he was this like legendary character. He wasn't. He was a fat jobber, you know? I wish he hadn't died, but that's what he was. Fundamentally, he was a jobber. He didn't really do anything. He didn't make a lasting impact like everyone pretends he did, right? All he did was play like basically like... Like he was like on the level of Gene Snitsky, except he won some world titles, right? That's really all, all, all he was. Um, overrated as fuck. But the, the main issue that I have with Bray Wyatt, because there are some things about him that are really good. Like I think his look was really good in many ways. And he was really good in the ring. Like, he was able to do, like, some pretty impressive things in the ring. Um, and he had, like, a unique presentation to his character as well. But uh, the worst thing about Bray Wyatt, of course, are the promos. His promos are shit, 
right? Now, again, the intellectually, like, you know, the, the false intellectuals, the people that think they're smart, you know, like, they are going to listen to his promo and connect dots that aren't there. Like, you think fucking Bray Wyatt sits down and thinks about what the words mean? Like, you think the person that wrote what I just read to you sat down and thought about what it means? Like, it says here, for example, uh, the words of the red. Someone's going to be like, oh, the fiend had some redness. Uh, maybe that's what it means. Like, I got into a debate with this dork, and he was talking about all the Bray Wyatt lore, and I'm like, all right, like, this is not wrestling, right? Like, nobody has ever asked back in the day, what's the Undertaker's lore? No, you, you just need to know three things about him, and then you know the character. But with Bray Wyatt, because it's cryptic, a.k.a. not well thought out in this case, right? That's, that's what they, they, they should say instead of saying cryptic. Cryptic is not the correct word. Just say it like it is. It's not well thought out, right? If it were well thought out, then... Like, it's been 10 years since Bray Wyatt. Nobody has explained what Sister Abigail is. You know? Nobody's explained it. Is she some sort of nun that took care of Bray Wyatt? Okay, and if so, so what? Why is his move named after her? Right? Why does he dress up like her sometimes and show up in drag? You know, these are the problems with the Bray Wyatt character. Right? It's not a well-thought-out character. He has this entire universe. Oh, there's like, you know... Like the, 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 the witch who's a doll. And then there's like Huskis the pig. And then people are like, oh, that, that's to like talk about his time as Husky Harris. What? Why does, why does Bray Wyatt need to acknowledge that? It's a different gimmick. Like you sh Bray Wyatt as a character should not be aware that he was Husky Harris. Right? It, it doesn't make any sense. But nowadays, uh, they're going to make us go through this shit all over again. And when this thing inevitably fails with Bo Dallas... Who I actually liked. I really liked the Bo Leave gimmick. But like Bo Dallas has been given like 12 chances to do something. And he hasn't done anything, right? So with all that being said, I uh, am not looking forward to this. And I personally think that this is just really, really bad. And um, I, I really hope that there aren't like the rumors say that there's all these other wrestlers that are going to be part of this. You know, like fucking, uh, you know, they're saying Dexter Loomis might be like one of the characters, etc., etc. It doesn't really matter what role they play, in my opinion. But the idea here is exactly what it sounds like. And the idea, cuckolds, is that they're going to have this new stable and other wrestlers. It's going to be a stable. It's going to be all the wrestlers in there. So in my opinion, this is going to lead to a lot of these wrestlers being completely ruined. Because I personally don't think that the new Wyatt family is going anywhere. Like, if you really believe that Bo Dallas is going to be, like, fucking, you know, some sort of, um, like, big deal. In the sense that, like, you know, he, he's going to be, like, a number one contender for anything other than maybe, like, the Intercontinental title. It, you're just wasting your time. And honestly, like... With some respect to the situation, um, the entire presentation of this new white family or whatever the fuck this ends up being is complete shit, right? It's just complete shit. It's not a good way to put this forward, to have someone essentially hack the WWE network, uh, etc. So anyways, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I just want to talk about it because they featured it so prominently on WWE.com. And, uh, you know, I guess, I mean, I don't know if it constitutes even as wrestling news. Because, like, what the fuck is this shit, right? But it is what it is. Uh, I, I will say one thing. Like, it's just there inexplicably on WWE.com. And it's uh, it's a little, like I, like, I will admit, it does catch the eye, right? It does catch the eye. And it does make you want to ask questions about what the hell is going on. So I guess that's kind of nice. But I guess the Wyatt family is no longer a bunch of, like, retarded people in the woods. Now they have the capacity to hack emails, right? So anyways, let's see where this goes. But I just wanted to read the, the post and just explain how it's complete horseshit, right? Um, in it, nothing is being said at all, right? Like, uh, he explains, like, we're going to burn down, uh, whatever, the, like, the cave or some bullshit. Let's see what it says at the very end. We're going to burn it to the ground. The cave can no longer exist. We're going to burn it to the ground. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, like, and it's, it's like uh, a massacre is coming. But it says right here, I offer you one last chance at redemption. Okay, what do I have to do? They don't even tell you, right? Because that's the whole point of, of, of Bray Wyatt. He just uses words like redemption 
and then like nobody understands why the fuck he's there just basically one day like a retard from the woods and his two other retarded friends came out and they were like oh we're here now run right and then like you know some people ran but then like John Cena and Randy Orton and Roman Reigns didn't run. They just beat that ass instead. They just beat all those guys like jobbers. Before you know it, Eric Rowan is jobbing to the rock in like a two-second match. So the whole idea just failed completely, right? And the, the, then the White family had no more direction. Everyone was like, oh, what's going on? What do we do? Like, what do we do with this with this Wyatt family now? You know, what what is the point of Bray Wyatt? Fuck, someone thought. I, we didn't really think this through. We just thought it would be enough to just have this inexplicable retard from the woods come out here and talk about Sister Abigail. Yeah, man. I, I grew up in the swamps of Lafayette, you know, like, and then people are like, what the fuck? What? Why? What? What are you? Why are you in wrestling? Right? Explain it to me. You know, explain to me why you're even in wrestling. Well, I want to spread my message. And it's like, like 95% of the Bray Wyatt lore and story was told by Michael Cole. Like, like the the fans, which are just there to have a good time, they would put up their their phones or lighters or whatever to be the fireflies, right? And then and Michael Cole's like, oh Bray Wyatt's got him eating out of the palm of their, of his hand. He's got them in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. And it's like, no dumbass. People are there to have fun. But Michael Cole would play it off as if like all these people are like followers of Bray Wyatt, which is fucking goofy as shit. And remember that time when there was that kid like wearing like a brand, like a sheet mask, and John Cena sees it. And Justin is like all creeped out, and the kid's like, he's got the whole world in his hands. And Cena's like, has this look of like dread on his face. Cena should have been like, get out of the way, kid. You know, should have gotten Bray Wyatt by, by the hair, throw him in the ring, give him two AAs, and pin that fat ass. But, anyways, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. I always liked him uh, as a wrestler. I personally think he would have had a better career if he was just Husky Harris. But what do I know, motherfucks?